Well, I figured I'd make this quick video. Actually, yeah, it's recording, okay. Um, we're gonna get some pretty bad stuff moving in here pretty soon as far as uh, storms and so forth. And uh, I will try to get some video of it so I can put it up on uh, YouTube and Facebook or whatever. It sounds like it's gonna it's gonna be quite uh, oh uh, you know interesting or you know really neat to look at because it's gonna be very much as they call it vivid lightning. We're gonna have I mean. Let's see, they did, uh, I was watching uh, one of the weathermen here in Columbus, and they were tracking the storms that were out in Indiana, which are the ones that are heading our way, and uh, they're saying that there were 4,500 strikes of lightning or something like that, so... Yeah, by the time, and it, it was increasing, it wasn't decreasing, so, you know, by the time it gets here, it might be more, but there's been a lot of uh, rotation and so forth with the uh, with the storms out in Indiana, and there was a couple of areas of rotation up by Lima, so, ought to be interesting, uh, <laughs> I guess they're going to be here eventually. I'm not really sure when, but I see, as I look out the window now, I see a little bit of lightning. It's, you know, lightning's on and off. But when the big ones come through, then I, I will try to get some, uh, some video of it. It ought to be quite spectacular, actually. You know, definitely something to look at. Hopefully, uh, we don't lose power, all right? I have gotten prepared just in case I got all my phones charged and this phone right now my iPhone that I'm using is still on the charger even though it's a hundred percent but I don't want to wear the battery down so it is charging and I got my other my tablet over there well if you want to call it a tablet it's charged and so forth so uh, I'll be I'll be uh, a okay, hopefully. Unless, uh, nah, I forget what the technical term was that they are using for these storms, but it's a long sustained wind. We're expecting hurricane force winds, you know, 75 mile an hour or higher. So, ought to be interesting. But if we get that, then we'll probably lose a lot of, uh, a lot of places will probably lose power. And where I live, we'll probably end up losing power. Uh, back in 08, before I lived here, during Hurricane Ike, when it came through, this road was actually without power for well over a week. So hopefully if we don't lose it that long, I got stuff in the freezer. Um, well, at least some stuff I don't want to lose, so... Uh, Anyway, uh, so I got everything charged, including the halo over here. I got that charged, so if my phone does go dead, then I should be able to at least get another charge out of it. So, uh, or two, or whatever. I got the Bluetooth speaker charged. It's ready to go. That way, if power does go out, then I will at least have some music to listen to for a while. So, I'm all prepared. So, everybody, uh, anybody who's watching this, uh, stay safe. Uh, watch the lightning and listen to the thunder and all that other good stuff. But, um, uh, one other footnote. Um, this has nothing to do with the, uh, with the storms. But I am going to try to during red white and boom to do some live feeds from it i don't know if i'll be able to do that or not uh not really sure um cell phone reception there they do something with the where people can't do you know a lot of stuff on the cell phone but i will try um 
And Red, White, and Boom is a week from tomorrow, since it's now Thursday. <sighs> um, anyway, but uh, I will uh, talk to everybody later, and like I said, stay safe.